what's up and welcome to California Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at Samuel Adams Summer Ale. So let's start with the pour. Alrighty. Getting a real kind of a odd golden color to it. From what I can see, <coughs> it's kind of opaque. It's not really that translucent. Yeah, it's kind of a foggy kind of thing going on there. You got a most, mostly clear foamy head, a little off white, but um, it's beginning to dissipate pretty quickly. Let's see what we smell. I'm smelling malt and wheat. The wheat is very strong in here. Maybe a hint of lemon, but for the most part, I'm just smelling wheat. So let's go on for the taste. The first few sips, I'm getting kind of a lemon peel kind of taste coming in. Then right after, you just get hit with that wheat. Um, it's a really bready taste, very yeasty taste. Yeah, it tastes like your run-of-the-mill um, wheat beer mixed with um, lemon peel or maybe a little bit of lemonade. I don't know. But it's more like a lemon peel than lemonade because it has more of a bitter note to it than anything. It's pretty refreshing though. When it comes to a beer to cool off, it seems just a tad heavier than what I would like it. But for the most part, it is pretty light and smooth, which is pretty enjoyable. Um, it is a summer ale, it is a wheat ale, and it does say wheat ale brewed with lemon peel and grains of paradise, so if that means anything. Um, to me it's a very average beer. I think would have to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Just because um, it's kind of in the middle in a lot of the points that I look for. It's not a heavy, dense, um, very, um, what do you call it, rich beer, which I enjoy those, like you find with the craft beers. And I also, not finding that this beer is, well, also, this beer is not that crisp. It's crisp but not to the level that I would want it or expect it to be. Like you'd find with a Budweiser or even better, a Miller High Life or Genuine Draft. It's not as crisp as those beers. And also, I'm not too big of a fan of the flavored thing. I don't mind wheat beers. I tend to like my malt, hops, and grains better than wheat. I don't know, the bread, the bready taste kind of is the only thing that you get from the beer. You're not tasting really much else, just the bready taste. You might get a little bit of the malt and stuff, but for the most part, that bready taste just punches through. So that's why I would have to give it that type of rating. If it was a little more to one side than the other, then I think I would have been able to give it a better rating. I still recommend you guys to check it out. If you like flavored beers, if flavored beers is your thing, I'd say check it out because you might enjoy it. You might think different. This is just my own opinion. So take everything with a grain of salt. Um, <clears throat> this uh, disclaimer though, this is nothing like a wine cooler or those Bud Light mixed tails. Those are straight up horrible. I can't, that doesn't pass as a beer at all. This is a real beer. It just has flavoring in there, which not a huge fan of 
but I'd rather drink this every single day of my life than drink um, a wine co wine coolers for like a few months. That's how much I don't like wine coolers. They just upset my stomach. They don't give me a, a good feel. It's just very uncomfortable. The malt feels, I mean the, yeah, the malt liquor in it feels um, artificial. It doesn't feel natural. So, that, sorry about the little rant on my review, but that's all I really got to say for today, YouTube. Till next time, thanks for watching.